Tifu by going into the non-binary bathroom. Tifu by using the non-binary bathroom and getting labeled as a perv. So a few days I was just chilling at school and I needed to go to the bathroom, and recently one of the bathrooms was labeled as non-binary gender neutral, so anyone of any gender may use it, which is pretty progressive for a state-run public school. So anyway I ask a teacher where the boys' bathroom is and she just says oh honey you can use that one other there. Now the non-binary bathroom is still basically a girl's bathroom, it's almost like an unwritten rule. But there wasn't a boys' one nearby so I just said fuck it and went in. It was, completely empty and I took the last stall, furthest from the exit big mistake the lunch bell rings as I begin to piss. I was texting my GFBC she messaged me, when I hear a ton of shuffling, and ineligible chatter. I assumed it must be two or three girls using the bathroom and chatting, right? So me being the incredibly socially awkward kid I am, I wait in my stall for them to leave to avoid any awkward interactions. The chatter stops they must be gone right? I open my stall door and I'm greeted with a soft what the fuck? There are at minimum 25 freshman girls in the bathroom, there are so many I literally cannot move past my stall door, they all turn to me and stare. I slowly take the walk of shame outside the bathroom. I took the last stall in this massive ass bathroom so I had to walk for what felt like hours while I was getting stared at by freshman girls with sharp looks that could cut iron. The teacher that ushered me to the bathroom was still standing outside and just gave me a look of apology. Later on a lot of the girls of all grades have kinda just been giving the the he's a weirdo stare and I'm not a very popular guy I have a small friend group of about 7 people but we keep to ourselves so this took a massive blow to my reputation. And since I'm not really popular no one really tried to hear me out. TLDR I got labeled as a pervert for going into the non-binary bathroom by freshman girls. Edit damn I just woke up and holy shit this blew up. Thanks for all the love and some of you all are funniest, some of these comments are crack ups y'all. You didn't fuck up, don't wear the burden of social guilt over this shit. What is the point of a NB bathroom then Lamau? What I want to know is, what are 25 freshman girls doing in there in complete silence? It's because you didn't wash your hands, you sicko. Man, you only got labeled a weirdo for shuffling out awkwardly. If you opened the door and rightfully asked what the fuck was going on then it might have played out different. That's when you say I suppose you're all wondering why I called this meeting. Nah there's no way at minimum 25 girls were in the bathroom being dead silent. You didn't do anything wrong those girls are being gatekeepers. Gender neutral means all genders not oh this is a second girls bathroom. Fuck them. There were 25 people in there, so many you couldn't move past your stall door, but you thought the bathroom was empty? Nah. Own that shit, use it every day and stroll in proud. Don't worry too much about the blow to your social standing, it won't matter in a few years. While I do appreciate that this story has brought an important topic into discussion, if you want it to be believable add something like they converted the boys bathroom or am new to the school because it's too hard to believe you don't know where the bathroom is. That and the fact that a gaggle of 25 girls could be quiet enough that you think the bathroom is empty? I dunno really breaks the immersion for me. Go back tomorrow for a huge shit. It's November why did you have to ask a teacher where the boys bathroom was? Even if they just changed the girls bathroom non-binary. 25 people in there and you're claiming you thought it was empty? Sounds exaggerated. What I've gathered through Ops post and replies is that this used to be the girls restroom, meaning now the girls are down a restroom, and they're used to going in that one, so obviously the ratio will be off. I also saw someone wondering if Op washed his hands. Two questions for Op. How many restrooms does your school have? Did you wash your hands? They labeled you a weirdo for walking out of the bathroom without washing your hands first. Nope. That did not happen. So you've been at the school to know the unwritten rules of the bathrooms, but had to ask where a boy's bathroom is? That's weird. Nice story. No way did 25 freshman girls enter this bathroom in dead silence such that you thought you were exiting an empty bathroom. So close. Get other guys to also use that bathroom daily. Just yell holy crap are you all non-binary? Just like me? Time to crack out some twos for equality. Not the asshole but I'm shocked that 25 teenage girls were silent all at once. Yep, this definitely happened 25 15 year old girls were completely silent. My advice? Double down. Take a massive dump there every opportunity you get, 
and just glare right the fuck back at them. Their opinion of you might seem relevant now, but it's irrelevant. Non-binary is non-binary. They can go fuck themselves. This is a unique opportunity to give zero shits when having the shits. Max memes. I believe in you brother. Go forth and excrete. Diary of a Wimpy kid -esque. Imagine this shit happening to a pre-transition trans girl. LOL. Bro fuck your reputation. You're in high school you said you got a friend group of 7, so what do any of the other people really matter? Stick with your tribe and forget the rest, high school becomes so much more fun. Maybe they were staring because you didn't wash your hands. This reads like a boomer bait post you'd see on Facebook. Did you also have a teacher that planned to prove God wasn't real by standing on a box? How big is your school that you don't know where the bathroom outside your class is? I call BS. You expect us to believe that 25 freshman girls all stop talking in a washroom? The NB bathroom should not be a girls only restroom, that is missing the point. You're fine kid, you didn't do any wrong. High school popularity is greatly overrated and ends as soon as you graduate. Half of the popular people will be losers within two years anyways. Saying this as a non-binary person you didn't fuck up. It's a gender neutral bathroom, that means anyone of any gender can use it. No reason for them to be gatekeeping something that's supposed to be available for everyone. I think they were looking because you didn't wash your hands. Nah my guy. Take that bathroom. Power move it's your now. That is where you now shit. Every day. Own it. This. I'm all for a gender neutral bathroom but the idea of doing number twos and a group of women coming in and laughing as they chat and do makeup and their hair is horrifying. I feel like a private bathroom where it's just one toilet. Sink and mirror makes the most sense for gender neutral bathroom. Seven friends ain't bad, good sized group if you ask me. Not that popular? You have a girlfriend and six friends. I didn't have six friends in high school, I don't have six friends now. That's three on three with a half court and each team gets a sub. Dude, just keep using that one now. If it's for all genders it's for all genders. Fuck em. It was gender neutral. Not your fault to decided to host a cabal in the water closet. I'm non-binary. And not to be that person but. Why did anyone let that unspoken rule exist? It's a bathroom you go there to shit and piss. And also they're freshmen probably looking for a place to vape. Tell them to go to the girls exclusive bathroom. Or get mad at them for congregating in one spot like a bunch of bowling pins. You're alright, friend. The girls at your school are actually assholes for turning a non-binary space into a women's only space, which defeats the purpose of that space to begin with. Write an article or something in your school's newspaper about this experience. It's a non-binary bathroom, what the hell do they think? Only feminine people are non-binary? Not the asshole. You didn't fuck up, they did by being transphobic. Kinda silly. You aren't powerless here. Ask the principal to firmly address this in an announcement after a week or two, something like just to remind you all, the gender neutral bathrooms are for everyone. They are not for just the boys, or just the girls, or other genders. Gender neutral, people. Grow up. Use that bathroom. Every. Single. Day. You didn't fuck up. They need to learn to read. I don't believe you. You did nothing wrong. I'm guessing the girls did not ask to have fewer girls' bathrooms, or the non-binary students are predominantly female, meaning there had been functionally no change in who was using the space, so they were still not expecting to have boys there. A gender-neutral bathroom is for anybody who feels comfier than in a gendered bathroom. It sounds to me like the freshman girls unofficially claimed it as their clubhouse, which isn't okay. I would just keep using the bathroom. It's gender-neutral, if they don't like it that's their problem. They can go to the bathroom that makes them feel more comfortable. I've been in probably 100 gender neutral bathrooms I used to live not in the states and it's only a big deal if you make it a big deal. Usually only the tourists or those weirdly religious people care and they'll still use it because it's fucking normal lol. Now you they were wrong for that. It's called a gender neutral bathroom for a reason, so you did nothing wrong, crying face. That defeats the whole point. My university has every single bathroom as a use for all. And I have never been, or seen anyone else be chastised for unwritten rules. Those girls be missing the point, the school leadership must be too lazy to enforce it. I'm an authentic trans girl. Even though you aren't trans, this is still an example of prejudice and casual transphobia. 
you did nothing wrong by using a designated ANB facility, it exists because anyone should be able to use it regardless of their identity. If anything, this may be sexual harassment on their part. From now on it would be my number one poop toilet. People acting like the unisex bathroom was just invented by this generation. They just got a new name.